What's going on YouTube? Today's video is gonna be slightly different. Uh, I was planning on doing some rust repair on the 240, but I looked outside and it's kind of cold and wet, so I decided not to do that. But I am gonna show you guys something pretty cool. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a beginner's guide on how to start 3D printing car parts. So I know a lot of you are thinking, I'm not gonna do that, it's too difficult, too expensive, whatever, but I can tell you right now it's not. The 3D printing community is incredibly helpful. There's so many tutorials online and it's actually pretty cheap. If you go online and look, you can see that the printer that I have is actually on Amazon right now for $189. If you're brand new to 3D printing, I would absolutely recommend the Creality Ender 3. I think it's a really great printer and it's got good quality and reliability for the price. So I went to school for engineering and that's where I learned how to 3D model and 3D print. However, you actually don't need to know how to model to do this. You can go onto websites like Thingiverse and here you'll find 3D models that you can download for free. For example, I typed in 240SX here, and you can see that there's uh, shift knobs, there's vent gauges, and many more options. So some of the things that I 3D printed for my car include a window switch, a steering wheel cover, a vent gauge pod, a cup holder, a switch bezel, and an external fuel pump bracket. So as you can see, with 3D printing, the possibilities are endless, and you don't even have to print things just to do with cars. You can print things like coaster holders, movie props, pen holders, wire holders, 3D printer modifications, mock-up parts, and so much more. Filament for your 3D printer is gonna range in price depending on what kind you get, um, but a kilogram of material can make plenty of parts. PLA is a great material to use, however sometimes you need a material that can withstand higher temperatures. As you can see, this phone holder print that I made uh, melted during the summer, um, so we don't want that to happen. In this case, it's best to use something like PETG. Uh, this material can withstand higher temperatures and is a bit stronger. You can even upgrade the nozzle on your 3D printer to a steel nozzle, and that will allow you to print things with carbon fiber and wood in the filament. So now I'm going to give you guys a real quick tutorial on how to do this. Uh, so I'm going to print this fuel line spacer here. Uh, this is going to replace the one that was burned in the fire. All you're going to do is you're going to click download files. It's going to give you this page and then after that is done you're going to click down here where it's going to appear and you're going to click on your files and then you're going to just put them in a folder. In order to get the files onto the 3D printer you're going to need a slicer. Uh, this one is the one that I use, it's Ultimaker Cura. Um, so then you're going to come up here into files and you're going to upload it to this screen here. Put your micro USB card into your flash drive, plug it into your computer, and then you can hit down here where it says slice. So next you're just going to save to removable disk and eject. Place your micro USB back into the printer, select your file from the screen, Next, it's going to start printing. So the video that's on the screen now is a time lapse of the 46 minutes that it took for the part to finish printing. So here's the completed part, and it's ready to go on the car. Even with the initial investment of a couple hundred dollars, uh, my printer has already paid for itself just in cost savings. So if you're looking to get into 3D printing, especially for automotive purposes, let me know down in the comments below and let me know what questions you have. If you decide to go with the Creality Ender 3 as your 3D printer, I'd recommend checking out Teaching Tech on YouTube. Uh, they've got a really great tutorial and I think that could help a lot. The video is a complete beginner's guide to 3D printing. Uh, it's got the assembly tour, slicing, bed leveling, and pretty much everything that you need to know. Well guys, that wraps it up for this week's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.